a documentary about one of the most welcoming, wholesome, and scandalous places. Let's talk about a house is not a disco. Hey everyone, it's David Stark from Watcher Pass. I'm here to talk to you about The House is Not a Disco, which is premiering at South by Southwest on March 8th, 2024. It's a documentary about Fire Island, which if you don't know about Fire Island, check out the movie Fire Island. It came out a few years ago on Hulu. Uh, it's a fantastic movie. This is a documentary about the real life place. It's a like a peninsula strip of land out in New York, and it has become a like queer haven for people from like spring through summer. It just becomes this big wonderful welcoming open scandalous party where hundreds maybe thousands of people come and just enjoy life embrace life uh live openly kind of let their inhibitions go it is a very interesting place and this documentary goes into some of the things that happen there and some of the people that call this place their home either permanently or for the summer so this is worth your time my hot take is i think you should probably watch it later i liked the message i liked how the film kind of went into uh some of the people that live there some of the characters and also the generational divide between you know maybe the the people who have been coming to fire island for decades and some of the newer people but it also felt a little bit unstructured. It felt like there wasn't really a driving theme behind it other than kind of talking to a few people. And I wanted to know a little bit more about the kind of history of this place, why it started off where it was. You get a little bit of it, but you don't really get a ton. So now I'm going to tell you what I liked about this movie. Well, I didn't like it. I kind of already did, but I'm going to go into a little bit more depth. Uh, don't worry, there won't be spoilers. It's a documentary. There really aren't spoilers in this, so you don't have to worry about that. But I'm just going to really quickly touch on some of the things I liked and didn't like about this film. So... Like I said, A House is Not a Disco is a documentary. It's mostly told, as many documentaries are, through storytelling. Uh, the director, Brian J. Smith, is interviewing various characters in Fire Island. Some of them are stalwarts that have been there for a very long time. Some of them are new members, and a lot of them are just kind of like reminiscing about what makes this place special and what they get out of this place and what they give to it as well this is a, a kind of a community there is a very welcoming open place uh you, you know people rent houses but those houses are generally fairly open people come and go some of the people that are interviewed talk about how they like cook more so that people can come in and enjoy food with them and you know people who maybe haven't had a, a bite for a while because they've been partying or maybe they you know they can't afford it can come in and have a meal with them and just kind of enjoy the camaraderie enjoy getting to know people so it, it is a kind of an eye-opening experience and it's you know a little less crazy than the fire island the movie which was a lot of fun i definitely recommend you watch that so things i liked about this movie the first i kind of already mentioned it i like the sense of community this is definitely a movie where everyone involved loves this place this fire island loves kind of what it stands for what it has given them uh what they give back to it it is definitely a place where you can feel the love and kind of warmth emanate throughout you get to see people welcoming strangers meeting new friends uh helping other people it is just a wonderful kind of like heartwarming experience to see uh the second thing i really loved i loved seeing kind of the generational conflict there is definitely a shift happening, I guess, in Fire Island from people who have been going there for years and kind of grew up in a different time versus kind of a newer generation of uh, men and women coming to Fire Island to kind of make it their own and seeing that kind of shift happen, seeing, you know, maybe people kind of passing the mantle along or trying to figure out how they can pass the mantle along is really fun to see and really interesting as well. So all that being said, things I didn't love as much. The first I didn't love it felt a little unstructured it didn't really feel like there was a driving theme it kind of has a timeline feeling it starts at the start of the season ends at the end of the season but in between i didn't feel like there was anything really kind of pushing the narrative um it is a bunch of stories so you get, do get to hear from various people but their overall kind of story didn't really hit for me and i think that kind of contributed to this feeling a little bit slow it is kind of storytelling it is interviews with people but to me uh they did kind of blend together i kind of wish that there was some sort of overarching goal now there is eventually towards the end of the movie there is uh some sort of big event that is being talked about but you don't get a sense of that from the start it just kind of like appears in the last third and then you, you're talking to someone who's organizing this event and kind of seeing what goes into that so the second thing i didn't love as much i want a little more fire island history you get some of that uh towards the middle i want it at the start i want to know like why this place became this wonderful opening community you get a little bit of that uh, in the middle, but I kind of wanted it at the start to kind of frame the story and then go into some of the different things that are happening. Maybe that was 
and maybe that could have helped with the structure as well. Uh, I just this film felt like it was a series of conversations that were interesting on their own, but together didn't really mesh well. So, all that being said, A House Is Not a Disco is premiering at South by Southwest on March eighth, twenty twenty four. I think you should watch it later. You know, if you're at South by Southwest and you see it. You'll probably enjoy it, but I would wait for it to come to like streaming or on demand uh, a little bit later. You don't have to like hunt it down at the festival circuit. But if you do see it, let me know what you think. Let me know what you liked and didn't like. I'd love to hear your thoughts. And uh, thanks so much for watching. If you liked this review, please like and subscribe to this channel. It helps me a lot. Make sure all my new content goes straight to you. Thank you.